Intellectual property is uh, easily recognizable once you know what to look for. Um, an easy example, of course, is your car. Your car has hundreds, if not thousands, of patents and trade secrets and copyrights in it. Meaning that if you look at your car's motor, your engine, there are hundreds of patents that make it difficult for the competition of other manufacturers to use the innovations in your car's motor um, in their own cars. But the copyright is also important. If you sit in your car and you look at the dashboard, most of us are in love with the dashboard. That's why you bought the car in the first place, because of the design, not of because of the engine. Only a few people buy the car for the performance. And the design aspects are all either with designer rights, with branding rights, or very important, with copyrights protected. So that means that if you are sitting in the inside of your specific car, it would be very difficult to find that same interior which you like so much in a different car. Also with cell phones, uh, but even with drugs. And that's very important because again, this is enabling us as a society to make sure that we keep innovating. Because after 20 years, these patents have uh, are gone, they cannot be used anymore, and then you build on those patents. 